Hey, 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 day 11 already. Say hello if you're out there. I'm so excited. I'm going to, um, I've got a really awesome strategy for you guys today in the hen house. And if you guys have been watching me, you know that this is part of our 60 days of strategy, um, tips, ideas, um, and things to do to increase your, to grow your business and be more productive and make more money. So today's really awesome. I'm really excited because, um, well, I'm excited every day, as you know, but I'm really excited um, to talk to you about this topic because for some of you guys, uh, you saw the topic, is your business run like a well-oiled machine? And some of you guys know that I previously used to do professional business organizing, and I do incorporate that stuff and help people through some of that stuff in my one-on-one uh, -on -one programs that I have. I actually do have an a business organizing one, but um, the it just it's something that excites me and I always get enthusiastic about talking about because if your business runs really, really, really smooth and it's not total chaos, you are so much more productive. So I just wanted to bring you guys some strategies today and um, I hope that some of these will help you get more streamlined and organized and pro uh, more productive in your business and of course organized. So. Um, uh, my first thing I wanted to tell you is that in the file section of the group above, in if you click on the file, you're going to see um, that I've I've inputted this something for you guys called the business organizing checklist. It's totally free. It's part of the 10 days of printables that I have on my website as my opt-in, which is a 10 days of um, printable challenge for mindfulness, priorities, and planning. Um, it's just one of the sheets and the worksheets that, so if you want way more detail about today, cause usually these strategy, tip, strategy tips are pretty quick. Uh, you can go ahead and go to my website, www.angelanewfeld.com and, uh, opt in on the 10 days of printables and you'll get them all in 10 days, 10 days at a time. Every day you'll get a printable, that kind of thing. So it's really fun. And I love it. So, okay, so the first thing that I was thinking is that uh, I want to, first of all, when you put some structure in your business, um, you have so much more flow and ease because you have, uh, you just have a system and you know how to run things and you have a place for everything and everything has its place and you don't, it's just not one giant clutter fest. So some, my first tip is um, in the evening, to clean your t desk off entirely get a start with a really fresh clean tidy space so that in the morning when you sit down with your cup of coffee ready to work you're like gonna work I, oh my phone might fall down <laughs> so yeah in the morning when you're gonna ready to work you actually can be totally productive and organized and you have a nice clean space to work from and you're not like oh i don't even know where to begin i don't even want to do it and then you're avoiding the whole um the whole work thing because you actually are so overwhelmed with the chaos in your office that you're not going to get anything accomplished. So number one, clear your clutter and start with a clean, fresh space. And that checklist that I said that's up in the files, there's all sorts of tips and ideas for you. And it's free. You don't need to opt in or anything. There's no thing uh, required. Um, so number two, think about what systems that you have in place already for when you bring in clients and you have going on in your office and what kind of filing systems you have or whatever and what you are where you, what you do have now what you are lacking and then try and be more st strategic about what it's telling me I disconnected oh I'm back so you know if um, you always wish that oh I wish I was more organized and I had more I knew what to do and I had more structures in place you know what book a strategy session I'd love to talk to you about my organizing program business organizing program for um, coaches and consultants and it's also great for product makers. But anyway, that's not what this is about. What I want to do is help you get more organized in your daily in your daily systems and structures. So look at what you don't have. And let I'm going to tell you some things that you can do right now to fix that. Okay, so, um, uh, so on this little sheet, there's all sorts of ideas. So there's things like, uh, like I said, tidy your desk off the night before. Clean as you go. Don't let a huge giant clutter thing pile up unless you're in the midst of some like beautiful project and you you want to like leave it all out until the end of the project. 
because you need everything all over the place. Otherwise, clean as you go. You'll feel so much better and you'll, you just help with the overwhelm. Also, if you create a routine and start tracking what your, um, your daily tasks are, I actually have an example of, I'm going to show you the one where I, I have so many. Okay, here's an example of another one. This is also from the 10 Days of Printables. If you want the free tracker, you can go again to my website and opt in for that. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. I've showed you guys some of this. Some of you have seen this before. It's like a daily thing. I just drew it and it's a free printable that I have. And what you can do is every day of the week is written out for you already. And then you just fill in the numbers that correspond with the day of the week and then the month and then what you want to do every day. So um, if every day, like some examples for you I have is uh, I want to be up by 7.30 so that I'm being productive by 8 o'clock. I want to walk one hour minimum a day. Um, I track all sorts of things. Do I have a newsletter to get out today? Social media post done? Am I drinking water? Am I eating healthy? All those kinds of things. If you start tracking that, you're going to feel so much more organized and um, productive. And then when you get stuff done, you can just take it off. And again, that's in the 10 days of printables if you want it. That's just one of my other suggestions. So also too, when you have, hey, whoever's there, say hi, happy you're here, and um, let me know who you are. So, and the other thing is when you have appointments coming in and you're, um, you're booking things and you have sessions and how, whatever stuff comes into your business, how are you managing them? Are you writing that right into your planner? Are you scheduling this stuff into somewhere? Are you just writing a bunch of sticky notes and putting them all over the place and um, saying, I'll get to that later, I'll get to that later, I'll put that in my planner, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. So if you carry something around that is like, um, for instance, this is my one of my little planners uh, and it's got regular days on it plus um, just it's a typical planner like this one's nothing special I have another one that's more detailed it's like a big whopper with tons of stuff in it and that but uh, if you just have something with you this one I really like because it fits in my purse hey Liz how's it going this one I don't know it's thin it's um, it's got big it's got big spaces here where you can write in your tasks and stuff like that. And so you can, um, I take my stuff from my big planner and I put it in my little planner. So that's what I do. But this one I really love because I can pop it in my purse or my bag and take it with me. That way if I'm getting calls on the fly or I'm out and about and somebody books an appointment or whatever, I write it right in my planner. So I don't have sticky notes everywhere. I used to... I get so off track when I do stuff like that and I used to have sticky notes like hanging off the wall and hanging off the picture frames and hanging off of my, all my computer flying all over. And uh, hey, fair time, oh that's so cool, I wish I was there, that sounds like a blast. Oh, that's like one of my favorite places to be at the fair, that's so cool. So yeah, like if you can find something that fits in your bag, you're gonna be you're gonna be way more organized. Um, you can always have like that big one that I showed you at home on your on your desk where you can really get um, be diligent to put things in and get way more detail in them. But at least if you get something going right away that's small, it, you're just gonna feel more organized and less stressed, and you're gonna know exactly when you wake up in the morning what you have to do that day and not forget about because that's not that. You're not running your business like a well-oiled machine when you're missing calls and um, losing track of stuff, right? Because it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, that's when mistakes happen and all these different things are created and stress is created. And, and who wants to be embarrassed when you, like, forget about somebody's phone call, right? Or you call the wrong person or whatever. So keep organized. Keep a little, get, get a little planner. Get something that can go along with you and um, start to really keep appointments tracked. So uh, another tip is to keep, uh, find a filing system that is manageable and organized. And I'm going to, I'm totally showing you some stuff that I'm going. And now this doesn't mean that um, you have to do anything like of what I've got, but I'm going to show you a couple of the ways that, of things, how I organize things, just like what is right underneath my desk right now totally on the fly here <laughs> okay so like this is uh, underneath I have everything this is just tiny one one little bunch 
from one little box and everything, I know I'm anal, is color coded and totally organized and all my client stuff is separated. Now I put them in one giant, I'll even show you this part. I put them in one giant thing like this. Okay, so I use these bins and these stack. And so I have six bins under my desk like that. And I like them because they're movable. Like I'm just sliding them in and out right now as we're talking. I don't have this big cabinet with a lock where I got drawers, all things all hidden away. Everything's like at my fingertips. I pull it out. I want to look at something. I grab it. It's right there. So I don't, um, I don't like anything that's complicated. I like simplicity. I like ease. And I like... Uh, I just like things simple and that's how it what it works for me now whatever works for you is totally fine but make sure it's manageable and that you have some sort of system whether it's color-coded or whatever and I really suggest keeping separate client files because some of the clients are gonna come back and work with you again and um, other clients you you just want to keep that information if they ever want to touch base with you or you want to get a um, testimonial or you are asking for a referral you have their information you have their all their stuff just in case you've lost the emails or whatever okay now back to the uh, the rest of the tips so everything needs a home gets recycled or has a space so when um i don't leave a lot of papers around and i try not to print stuff when um I don't need it yet so uh, and I'm really bad for this I'm gonna to totally admit it to you I print and print and print and print and print but I'm really getting better at not printing a bunch of stuff and creating an email folder saying print this later to do so that I can um, not have like masses of paper clutter and plus how many times have you printed a bunch of crap and then realize that it, you don't really need that and it wasn't that great in the first place and then um, now you've wasted a whole pile of ink and paper and everything like that so Think about things before you print them. Consider starting a file folder on either your desktop icon or in your email box of things in the future that you want to print. And um, just just do it as you go. That's my suggestion. It eliminate a lot of clutter. Okay. And my next thing is, um, which is from that list that you guys can find free in the files above is um, create an incoming mail sorting system. So when stuff comes in, there's usually three topics that we talk about, that I like to talk about and file things in. And I have them in a kind of a different format. I won't show you because it's, it's um, full of stuff right now that is in the correct folder, but um, they're, mine are labeled bills to pay, things to file, and then post and file. So those are my three things. So when things come in, if they're not yet paid, then obviously they're not posted and they're not being filed yet because I have to deal with them. So that's kind of like the deal with it bin. So the bills would go into the deal with it bin or the pay the bills bin or whatever. And then I have another little thing. And actually I will show you because you can, there's multitude of ways you can, um, you can, uh, so, this is just a way, so I have three of these bins and I just label them with what I want and they're all stacked beside each other, totally organized. And so I do it that way, like in order of bills to pay, post and file and then file. So then once the item gets paid, if you need to post it, maybe it's a business write-off or a business expense, then that item can go into the bin that says file. If it hasn't been posted in your accounting program or bookkeeping thing or whatever you do, or maybe you write it down in the paper log, whatever your method is, it would go and post a file. Once it's been posted, it can go into file. And if it doesn't need posted, it's just a bill and it has nothing to do with your business or anything and you just want to keep it, um, you can either shred it or put it in the file if it's something of importance, right? So those three things. So there's no, when I go get the mail, I don't have stacks of stuff everywhere. Everything, I open it right away, it either gets recycled, it goes into bills to pay, or it gets filed. Or it gets shredded or whatever. Because I don't like all that stuff. So, I really hope that some of these tips are valuable for you and that can help you. Um, and just the most simple thing is to just keep a clean workspace and have it a nice place to sit and be that you like. And be surrounded with things that you love. Because you're going to be more productive if it's a... 
dark little corner with bad lighting and an awful chair. You're not going to be that. You're just going to go, oh, back to my little like dungeon, right, of an office. So like perk it up, spruce it up, make it pretty, make it you, add some plants, whatever you want to do. And make it feel really great and you're just going to be feel good about working, be way more productive. So I hope that that kind of stuff helped you. Again, if you want to hop up there to the files, it's totally free for my business uh, um, help organizing checklist up there if you want it. It's basically what I went over today with a few more things in there. And um, well, that is the hand house strategy for the day. If you don't want to miss any more great stuff, there's a link in this um, topic thing that you can, where you can join my mailing list and get everything. And don't forget the master classes tomorrow. We are doing this awesome masterclass tomorrow on creating your first passive income product with Rilly Cacholte and I are doing together and we can't wait. So if you have not signed up, please look for the post below. It's like a couple posts below and it's a totally free masterclass. Don't miss out because it's going to be awesome. There's going to be so much good information. I can't wait to help you guys. Thanks, Liz. Oh, thanks for the hearts. What is that yellow face? Is that like a happy, exciting face? Or <laughs> I always wonder if that's like a mad scary face or what anyways i hope you guys have a fantastic um day and that you got some good um tips from today's strategy and i'll be back tomorrow with day 12 so bye ladies